welcome to our YouTube channel if you're new here. I'm Amali and um, as you can see I've got the float behind me um, and I have a, I've got the Prize Easy Feeds In School States Championship for eventing um, over the next three days. So we'll be leaving tomorrow um, and then staying two nights until Sunday. Okay, so here we have our Stanley Fat Mat, which we got from Bunnings. Yes, you can get more stuff from Bunnings. So in here, we have my rescue remedy stuff. Um, we have obviously the plaiting stuff. Um, head torch for plaiting at night, very useful for any questions out there. Really helpful. Um, these are comp brushes and they are German, are they German? German brushes. Um, they, this one has, this one's a very nice one. It's like fluffy on the inside and it's called a finishing brush. Finishing brush, so as you're about to go, like get, as you're saddling up, obviously we brush our horse when they're clean with this. Um, hoof pick, another little brush, curry comb. This is um, clear. Um, eye gloss, makeup, makeup, makeup. Obviously, we don't. Um, gosh. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. Leave it in there. So there's a little towel thing. Um. Um. We have. This is the little plaiting thing Mum wears when she's plaiting. Um, around her waist. And you need to learn to wear that too. Yeah. Okay. Medical armband. Um, these are Precision Equine Muscle Max bars. They are, they have like put so much muscle on them. Protein. Um, it's a protein bar for horses. Well, it's like, yeah, protein bar for horses. Um, from Precision Equine. So you can order yourself one for your horses. Um, green and blue tape, so green for our pony club and blue for my school colours. And then we have blacket, also uh, two different blackets in here. This is also something everyone needs, is sculpting stick, which is basically just like, instead of using spray or like gel, it's really handy. It's from um, MTR. Yep. And then, oh, and that's another one. And a lot of thread. Thread, a lot. And this is some stress paste that we've only just started being on, only given it to him at one comp. And we just give him that whole thing, and it's from Poised and Equine. It's Did you notice a difference last competition? Yeah, probably. And yeah. and in his poo as well, he wasn't yeah. doing he wasn't crazy doing runny poos. poos. And in here we have the dressage chest folder. So as I'm tacking up, Mum can just grab that. Um, electrolytes for very handy for eventers if you don't know that um, after cross country. Um, hot gloss, which is also very handy, and these are these are immediate clippers. Best little clippers, twenty seven dollars on eBay. Yeah, they are pet clippers and they literally are just rechargeable. Yeah. So those are the clippers. Um, I'm pretty sure that's everything we've got in here. Um, or also, oh. you need these to get the these packaging. from NR. NTR? NTR, sorry. They're the best little scissors ever. They're so pretty too. They're platinum trim scissors. And they're very pretty, but they're actually super sharp and brilliant. For main cutting. Cutting anything, really. Yeah. That's our fat max.
So here we have our um, Bambino Pony pink gear bag, which carries a whole load of stuff. This is a Champion Titanium body protector and um, I haven't had this for too long now but I love it, it's very comfy. One of the good things is you don't have everything flying around and you can just zip it all up. Okay, so this is one of my favourite things. I bought this at Equitana last year. Um, and of course it has to be in our signature pink as well. Um, it is a brilliant cart. They are not cheap. Um, so it's all folded up at the moment. And we open it up. These ones, can, it's called a cart a lot cart. And these ones can hold something like 80 kilos or something. They are brilliant and they come, um, you can take all of this comes off and I can wash it or I can um, gurney it out. It's got a handle on one end, the Marley's showing, and you're not to put your saddle on that as, as tempting as it, as, as it sounds. We have done that and broken it. Yep. So, and then you've got this, this handle here, so you can push it around really easy. Um, it's very light. Too. It's super, super, super light. Ayla um, actually slept in here one competition. Uh, she was a little bit unwell, so we decided to put her sleeping bag in the cart, and she slept in there. So it was, it was quite funny. Um, so these are brilliant. You can get them in all different colours, um, and there's lots of different cool things. This is like the second um, edition, and I think there's a third or a fourth one out now. So yeah, they are very expensive, but they are built to last. So. Um, absolutely love ours. Um, so we thought we sometimes, depending on what we're doing, we'll throw stuff in here to go into the float. Um, but today we're just going to um, fold it all up instead. But we mainly use it at comps for um, going to like being stable, saddling up for a comp. We have all of our stuff in there that we can just cart it down from to the campsite. from the campsite to the stable, um, and happy. And it's just so easy. So it folds up as you see like that. All right, so you guys are probably thinking, geez, Amali and Chinoa, that is a hell of a lot of camping gear to put in the front of the float. Now this is an auto, auto Twizzer float. It's the, it's the, not the standard one, it's the next one up. I think it's the XL. So when you're looking for a float to buy, my number one thing about space, um, because of course we've got lots of car seats in the car, is make sure your door is a straight door, not a curved door, because then you know you've actually got a bit of an extension on your float. So essentially on the standard auto twizzers, the door starts to curve from from this, from this the side of the door, all right? Whereas on mine, I've got an extra, I guess it's about 450 mil, which is brilliant when you're talking about going away. But the one thing that concerned me was all this stuff in here, and um, you've got, um, the problem is, is that you've got um, a horse in there, or two horses in there. So um, after chatting to my husband, I, we came up with this little idea. It's so simple. Um, he's not very good on tools and stuff, so this is the brilliant part about it. It's literally a big piece of board that we just bought from Bunnings. Um, he bought these handles here as well from Bunnings. There's one on the other end as well. Um, just to make it easier to hold. Um, you don't need them, and I would probably put them a little bit in different spots it next time and this one little clasp here now all he's done um, which I don't think I can show you but on my center pole here um, down on the ground he's just put a little it's like a U hook like that in there uh, no you can't do that am I and another one on the other on the far side there's not one here because I didn't want anything in the way of the door so all I do is I bring this in and I put it in between the actual um, wall of the, not the wall of the, hang on, not the wall of the float, just the, the binding or something, whatever the word is. Um, in between the, the poles, I guess you would say. And it's essentially secure right now. But I wanted it, of course, to be a little bit more secure. So we just have this little simple latch. Let me quite easy. There we go. And you just latch that onto there. 
and now the board can't come off. So what that does is it makes it nice and safe. I can pack all this. We have had like six bikes in here um, with enough stuff to go away for like four days. So it is brilliant. Um, there, there's so much room in here. So the pink bag will go in here now. Um, and I have also got the, the hay net as well, which will hang up here. So things on the right hand side. And um, I've strategically placed the bucket to catch all the hay. <laughs> so because otherwise there's hay everywhere. So that's a, a There's probably tip. still going to be hay everywhere. There probably will be, yeah. There's a simple little tip for you though. Um, yeah, design a board um, and yeah, m much safer. Alrighty, so the float's packed. Yep. Yep, all I can. Happy. Um, so we've just got to fill the car up with fuel, because you always do that before you get started, because otherwise you have to stop halfway and it's really annoying. And we don't like stopping. Don't like stopping, ever. We just want to drive, just get there. And um, we've just got to get our stuff together. So clothes for me, clothes for Amali, Amali's um, uniform. We are going to remember jumpers this time, aren't we? It's yep. cold at tambourine. Uh, I've actually packed the heater this time too. Bridles. Uh, bridles, yep. The, the show bridles have got to come inside. And uh, Amali's number 271 for this competition. So if you see me there. And yeah, please come say hello. If you recognise the pink float, there's not any other ones out there. And we've got a black land cruiser, so come say hello. Um, and we'll have the camp all set up. We've got to get food ready. And Thermomix fridge. in the car. Fridge in the car. And decide what we're going to eat, which is very important when we go camping. What are we eating? Um, Let me, I, I, I can tell you what she's going to say. Spaghetti. Yeah. And blueberries. Uh, yeah. And yogurt. Yeah. And muesli. Yeah. Yeah. And like, yeah. And like, yeah. Um, I don't know what else. <laughs> That's for me. <laughs> well, Dad bought me a big thing of Toblerone. So I've got a massive thing of Toblerone to take. I'm not supposed to eat any of it. When we get up to Toowoomba, we've got um, to wash Bing, wash his tail and get it all looking beautiful again and white, white, white. We really need that tail white. And we're taking Fat Dog as well, <laughs> who's here. She has never come to a comp. I'm so excited. She has, actually. It was like once. Stupid. Fat Dog's coming! Yay! Why is she scared? She's like trying to go away. She's looking at the other dogs. And, um... <laughs> Toiletries, can't forget those, that's very important. Mm -hmm. So um, what if you would like to get our list of everything to pack, um, we can definitely put that up probably on Amali's Instagram page, which is Amali underscore T, T underscore eventing. eventing. Okay, so we can put that up on Amali's page um, on her Insta, and that might help you when you're packing next time, and your parents, of course, because they always help. And just to keep in mind, we do not pack this much for like a one night stay. Yeah, we're staying two nights, so we're packing a, a few extra things. And of course, a lot more hay and a lot more camping gear to make it a little bit more comfortable. Um, Amali doesn't ride till almost four o'clock on Saturday. So, um, it's probably like one of the last riders. Dog's Pretty. wagging its tail, <laughs> hitting the tripod. Um, yeah, so yeah, she rides at almost four o'clock on Saturday, so we've got all Saturday morning to do what we want to do. So we might not even plan up until Saturday morning. That sounds like that's a good yeah. That's, that's a good, good plan. To do that. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.